Hi there, I'm Terry Barber from the UK. Um, what I wanted to do with this makeup today is something that I feel is a really modern movement in beauty. Makeup which is all about skin. I'm working with a formula of MAC Foundation called Studio Sculpt. And I really love this one because it's got this kind of gel cream technology in it. It's very three-dimensional. When I highlight, I always like to think about a heart shape um, at the centre of the face. Love to work um, underneath the eye and up through the cheekbone. A little T just above the eyebrows and down the nose. The biggest mistake to make when you sculpt a face is to confuse blush with contour. I always prefer to work contour with a slightly deeper shade of foundation. Um, if you're choosing shades of foundation to shade in the highlight, always think about maybe a little bit more of a kind of gold tone in the centre of the face. Think about something a little bit warm and bronzy around the edge of the face. So you're not actually matching the skin, you're working around the skin colour. You know, MAC has a really amazing palette of foundation colours, so you can actually work in all these kind of nuances of the skin colour. If you imagine a line between the top of the ear and the um, outer corner of the lip, if you follow that line, you'll always get the right cheekbone shape. I'm just going to use a warmer shade of foundation. It almost kind of mimics the natural shadows of her skin. Placement when it comes to the face is pretty much everything, but I will say once a woman knows where to um, effectively shade and highlight her face, that's when the magic can really happen. So I'm going to make sure I just create this parallel shade. This looks quite sharp at the moment, but I'm really going to soften it afterwards. Probably some of my favourite MAC tools are these duo fibre brushes. And it's almost like an airbrushing tool. Um, so rather than really push product, overblend product, the duo fibres just really almost act like an airbrush. Um, and just almost kind of massage the product into the skin without working it too much. I'm loving the MAC um, concealer palettes because they've got these brilliant colour corrector. Um, concealers. I'm using the um, yellow just to put a bit, little bit of an extra light beam um, just underneath the eyes, just to accentuate the nose a little bit more, the bridge of the nose. Just to kind of finish this face with the creams, um, I'm going to add a little bit of a metallic highlight um, across the eyelids and through the cheekbones um, with a MAC cream colour base. Metallics are huge in, um, in makeup at the moment. Uh, metallic creams which just kind of pick up all the high, high points of the face. Um, again, it's that idea of makeup looking very pumped. You know, one texture blending into another to create a carved shape. I am just applying a little bit of this rose gold cream colour base around the eye. I think this look needs a fresh eye. You know, I'm really feeling um, fresh eyes are a real trend at the moment. It's not about a technical, smoky eye. It's just simply wrapping a really beautiful metallic cream around the eye. And even a little bit on the bridge of the nose. The MAC mineralised powders are really beautiful just for specific um, powdering. For a really polished face, it's important to know where to powder, where to leave shiny. I think there's something really beautiful about having that polished centre and then turning the face and just catching all that light and all that um, creaminess on the, on the edge of the face. I think between the brows should always be powdered, sides of the nose a little underneath the eyes and the chin. So I'm going to use the MAC Lip Conditioner um, and just go for a very balmed, plump lip. This is the finishing step. I love lip balm because I think it's a really nice compromise between lipstick and gloss. It's just playing with a natural lip colour. Beauty doesn't have to be a statement. 
Um, it doesn't have to be loud, it doesn't have to be about smoky eyes and strong lips. It can simply be about the most beautiful skin. You know, to me that is the true beauty. Fierce.